This fat girl is over 300 pounds. She has been single for over 30 years. To feel her loneliness and emptiness, she has to go out on the street every morning, scratching her head and showing off her charm, trying to find the right man. But the people passing by had become accustomed to her and ignored her. She had to focus on the workers next to her, danced a set of standard moves of Korean girl groups. The workers looked stunned, choose go die on the spot. She was still not satisfied, shamelessly, to seduce the firefighters on the side. But they were prepared, pulled out the water gun to wash her down to the ground but this still can't stop her heart from fluttering. And so it was. Everyone was running away from Julia, but she didn't give up. When she returned to work at the store, she met Grant, a blonde with blue eyes, love at love at first sight. But that's when Dad interrupts. He asked her to deliver the goods. She turned around and knocked Grant to the ground. She turned around and found that Grant was gone. She thought he'd been scared off too. Julia couldn't take it anymore. Following the little card, she found the all-powerful professor of love. She entered the door, but no one was there. She looked down, and there was the professor. When she entered, Juliet immediately complained. The professor said it was no big deal. He pointed to the pictures on the wall. Handsome men and women, same-sex friendship. He could achieve all of them. Then the professor told Julia. Eight out of ten guys believe the first kiss was... He wanted to test Julia's kissing skills. Juliet immediately bared her big teeth and put her mouth over. The breath almost made the professor spit out his overnight meal. The professor took out his dental floss and put it on Julia's teeth. And out of her mouth, pulled out a chicken wing. Looking at Julia's big mouth, the professor was worried and didn't know what to do. In order to keep his golden reputation, he had to take Julia to the magical car repair shop to give her a makeover. How a 300-pound fat girl transformed into a 90-pound hottie. Julia transformed into a sex goddess. What kind of transformation did she go through? This long-bearded man with a chainsaw rubbed Julia's toes in a variety of ways. Then he ripped Julia's clothes off, sprinkled a spoonful of strong glue, and with a sizzle, Julia's thick hair was ripped off. The effect of this hair removal cream is so good. The professor couldn't help but give a compliment. The last step was liposuction. He was like milking a cow. He pumped bucket after bucket. Finally, the job was done. Julia finally changed from a fat girl to a one-in-a-million beautiful girl. Julia couldn't wait to attend tonight's bachelor party. Luckily, the main man was Grant whom she had always had a crush on. Grant also had his eye on Julia, but they miss each other by accident. The two soon fell in love. The next day, Julia took Grant to meet her family. To her surprise, when her boyfriend opened the champagne, the rubber cap ejected and broke Julia's grandmother's urn. Julia's father was furious. The love between the two of them just stopped. Grant never imagined the first time he met his future husband. He made such a mess. Grant was not willing to fail. He bought the entire mall of jewelry. Sure enough, the way the rich generation expresses their love is so simple and unpretentious. Julia was touched by his sincerity. She decided to marry him on the spot. Seeing that his daughter was so insistent, the father had to agree reluctantly. He arranged a wedding date with his imals. But one thing led to another. Julia then learned that Grant had a childhood sweetheart, Andy, and she's going to be a bridesmaid. Look at her devilish body. Even though Julia had already gone through a deep transformation, she's still a little ashamed of herself. Andy even made her look bad picked out a rack-like wedding dress for her. Julia's head was spinning. She hit the electric box. She woke up and was hallucinating. Right to be. Shit. Not if I can help it. She thinks Andy is trying to ruin her wedding. She punched her straight in the face. Panicked, Julia rushed to the professor. But the professor said, A confident woman is the most beautiful. Q-tip. Q-tip. Float away. Float away. And so it was. Julia gradually relaxed her mind. But when she saw herself in the mirror, she was shocked. She was back to her 300-pound self. This woman woke up to find that she had a big pimple on her face. She used a vice to no avail, seeing that her wedding is about to start. Julia exerted all her strength. Puff! The recoil transported her to the wedding site. And by sheer coincidence, she saw Grant and her bridesmaid Annie kissing. Julia was devastated. She saw the wedding room Grant had prepared for herself. But she was very sad. Julia lies in bed at night. Grant was downstairs with a radio playing their old love story over and over again. Julia's memories were aroused, but Grant didn't wait for Julia to change her mind. He was thrown full of rotten eggs, such a touching scene, and he didn't get much kindness from the neighbors. Seeing that Grant was eliminated, Dad immediately introduced his daughter to a honest and responsible science geek. He was also very straightforward. He came up and took Julia's hand and confessed his love. After her father persuaded her, Julia said yes to him. They were soon married. Julia listened to the priest's prayer. She remembered the little things she had with Grant before. Julia decided to run away from the way, and Pops was really impressed by her persistence. He took out the letter Grant left behind. He waited for Julia at the place of the first date. Julia got on her motorcycle and rushed over without stopping. She climbed the 30-story building as fast as she could. 
but Gran had already gone the other way. Looking at the empty roof of the building, Julia accidentally fell down. She landed right in Grant's arms. This romantic scene is like Romeo and Juliet's scene. They didn't hesitate anymore. Under the auspices of the professor, they were married immediately and lived a happy life. And sure enough, a perfect match between a man and a girl is a final destination.